What's up, Cappers? This is another episode of If You Want to Know How to Gamble on Sports and Win. I'm your host, Bodon, coming from Bodon Sports. Today, we're going to do this episode on Sunday, March the 10th, 2019. As always, y'all know the format. Uh, I'm going to give y'all the sponsor. We're going to do a free uh, house cleaning information then we're gonna do the recap and last and foremost we're gonna jump into the free picks of the day so first all my videos are sponsored and brought to you by pp square productions if you like the graphics or you like that logo then holler my boy tummy his information always down below in the description box and first and foremost before we uh jump to the next section if y'all would like, comment, and subscribe, I really appreciate it. That helps the channel out a whole bunch, and it costs y'all a little less than nothing to hit that like and that subscribe button. Also, uh, the question of the day is, what do y'all think about the Antonio Brown trade to Oakland Raiders? Let me know how y'all feel about that. Uh, is he going to succeed, or is he going to fail? Now, in recent past, we know a lot of uh, players like himself go to Oakland to die. The seasons really don't flourish in Oakland. So um, my take on this is I just felt like he was in a good situation with Pittsburgh. Uh, he had a legendary uh, quarterback with Big Ben. But, you know, um, nowadays, man, uh, social media, Twitter, you know, is real powerful. Um the way that he got out that contract and got guaranteed money with Oakland, he basically started ranting on social media. So uh, maybe that's the way, man. Uh, so let me know, man, what y'all feel about it. Do y'all think that he's going to shine or is he going to fall to the wayside? That's the question of the day. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the next session. Um, get all these promos. I have another daily pack going today for $30. It's going to consist of five of my top plays. I'm going to have two going to NBA. And the other three is going to be in college basketball. Uh, we have a nice slate of games today. A lot of uh, college basketball tournaments are still going. We got a few finals. Uh, we have a couple of plays in those. And the NBA, I'm going to keep it light. I uh, just got two top plays. Actually, I'm going to be giving y'all one of those plays on the video. And I will be giving y'all one of my college basketball plays as well. And I'm going to throw in a little NHL, man. Uh, I've seen a, I seen an NHL game that I like. But I didn't put it on my slate, on my card. But I will be giving it to y'all as a free pick. All right, let's go ahead and recap what we did last night. You know, on Saturdays, man, I always have a monster day. We went 11, 2, and 1. So, you know, I really don't count those uh, pushes. The pushes came with Mississippi State minus the 11. So, uh, overall, we went uh, 11 and 2 out of 13. So, let's go ahead and recap what the winners and losses was. All right. Um, in my seven plays, I took in college basketball. I took Texas Tech minus 2.5. Drake plus the 3. UNC minus four and a half. In the last game that was a winner was Temple minus one. The losers came out of Coastal Carolina minus the ten and a half. Like I said, Mississippi State was a push. And the last loss was Davidson. They had to win by five. They only won by four. Okay, they jumped down to the NBA. I had three plays. Uh, the first pick was Brooklyn Nets. The early game, minus four and a half. Uh, they only won by two. Second game, we took Milwaukee Bucks, minus 12. Uh, so, you know, they covered that spread with ease at home. And the third and final pick, we took Boston Celtics, minus the six and a half over the Lakers. Man, until further notice, the Lakers are on, uh, auto fade with me. Uh, I don't know what's going on with LeBron. He couldn't hit no free throws last night. I think he missed like four in a row at one time. So, uh, until that team figures out how they're going to run with LeBron James, I don't know what's going on. But 
They on auto fade. Uh, ever since I seen them play that game with Memphis, I had them on auto fade back then. So I uh, took advantage of that last night. So that was a nice, easy win. So that was a two and one day in the NBA. Okay, let's jump down to the uh, to the fights in UFC. I took Junior Santos and uh, Melander. So that was a two and on on the UFC. In regular boxing, I took Sean Porter in decision for the decision that cash as well. And on down to the AAF, I took the Orlando Apollos minus the three. So like I said, that was the 11 and two day minus the push. That brings the weekly record up to 19 and eight out of my last 27. Like I said, man, I'm still running for the week. I got five more day, I mean, five more plays going today. So if y'all want to grab them and be a part of these winners, go ahead and uh, give me an email at bodonsports at gmail.com. Uh, if y'all follow me on Twitter, y'all can DM me at Don underscore sports. And always, if y'all want to just go sign up over on patreon.com forward slash bodonsports. And try that money subscription for three hundred dollars. You uh, the link put that link down in the description so y'all can access that. All right, man, let's go ahead and jump into these free picks. Trying to get this podcast out in time. Uh, I don't know if I don't think I have any early games on any free picks, but I just want to get it out just in case. So uh, the first pick is gonna be in the NBA. We're going to Georgia. We got the Atlanta Hawks at home laying one. Playing the New Orleans Pelicans. The over and under is set at 237. Now in this game, uh, it's going to be a risky play. But I like the Atlanta minus the one. Now with all those injuries piling up on the Pelicans, sooner or later it's going to catch up with them. Uh, I've seen it start catching up with them in the last game they played against Toronto. They got beat real handily. And uh, Atlanta been kind of balling, man. We know they can score. If they can just play a little bit of defense in this game. Uh, Let me give you the injuries for New Orleans. Uh, Anthony Davis is resting. Etuan Moore is out. And now they are going to be missing Drew Holiday. So they're going to have really too much to work with. Um, And I think that Atlanta going to finally break that trend. Of losing at home. I think they're going to get a win tonight. So uh, for the first pick. Let's take Atlanta minus one. Alright let's go on jump into the next play. And uh, Also by the way. Atlanta is one of my. Top plays that I'm giving y'all for free today. Alright let's go on jump into the second pick. It's going to be in college basketball. Uh, we're going to the Summit League. The Summit Conference. Now, this, this this is a tournament game as well. It's a Summit Conference tournament. Uh, we got North Dakota State, minus three. They're playing all robbers. Now, let me give you a couple little uh, stats and trends right here. Uh, North, North Dakota State have won, have won and covered their last seven. And all robbers have not covered the spread in their, in their last three out of four games. Uh, I like North Dakota State, man. They just beat um, uh, Fort Wayne. We all know Fort Wayne scored the ball pretty good. So I just like this spot, man, uh, in this tournament. I think North Dakota going to advance North Dakota State. So for the second free pick, which is another top pick for me today, we're going to take North Dakota State minus three. All right, let's go on, jump into the third and final pick for the podcast. Gonna get a little NHL action. I'm gonna let y'all know that I can do it all, man. So we got the Detroit Red Wings going on the road to play the Florida Panthers. Florida Panthers is laying uh, minus 210 on the money line, and the over and under is set at six. Now I'm gonna recommend to take Florida on the puck line. That's minus one and a half uh, to win this game. Detroit, man, they have not been looking good since every time, ever since they started playing in this new stadium. Uh, new, uh, on the trade deadline, they traded off a lot of pieces, so 
I think they're in rebuild mode. I don't know what's going on exactly. But uh, Florida State, they're, they're a stable team. They did not trade nobody. So I think they feel like they got a chance to make a deep run with the, uh, the squad they got. And I believe so as well. So to get more value in this game, let's take Florida Panthers minus one and a half. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today, for the Sunday podcast. And uh, I'm going to start giving y'all out some more tips, man. Um, I'm just trying to get this podcast up and loaded. But uh, starting tomorrow, I will be starting giving out more picks on how to gamble on sports and win. But uh, before y'all go, if y'all would, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the podcast on all your social media platforms. And it's your boy, Bodon. Bodon Sports, checking out where we bet, win, and pick up. All right, let's get it.